be set. We are on to the rift. Do or die for the LCS's sole representative in Cloud9. DFM, can they make history with an answer though? And Blabber didn't use his sweeper. He might have to flash. This is probably going to be flash force and a 200 HP already. Nicely done to land the binding first, but still the flash chase is dead. here and he's going to go down twice in a row. Blabber is dead in the river against DFM. That wave and this is so dangerous for Fudge. He's got to get out of there. He's going to put the ward down, seize the two on the roam. He's going to get pulled back, but has flash if he needs it. Sidesteps, TP coming back in. This could be a kill on the top side. He's got the shield, and that's already going to on to Scion, but it's traded back already, plus with Blabber, and it's two for one. Naka comes in for perks as well. Arya forced one away. Cloud9 with the counter gank. Get a two for one. First blood. Oh. And then focus elsewhere on the map for the hard carries. Here's the teleport in. All right, headbutt backwards, but the bind's still going to land on Alistair. Does not want to burn his ulti just yet. It wasn't taking too much damage as yet, though. Into the back line goes the Scion. Big damage dunked back, but Steel is going to drop. His flash is already burned. And a quick root and Evie. Oh, that's going to be a kill back, though. Fudge taking a ton of damage, a one for one, as they both lose an important member of the team. But hey, it means a chicken steal as well. <laughs> yep. Oh. Maybe uh, Yone ulted and so popped at about 600 health. So that cooldown's gone for a little bit. It said, Evie, is he going to get this red buff steal? Perch back at the easiest time. Gets the red, though. Gets the knockup. Goes in for the fight. And Ulti coming around behind will not take any shield damage. Stun comes back. Has to run away. That's going to be lethal damage. And Evie goes for a fight that he cannot win. Thanks for the red buff right there. To the river. Here's the teleport in, though. Set going to be behind enemy lines. Can he get the angle to dunk the Scion? Ooh, bound, though. Fudge pops the shield and actually burns Flash get away. Evie's going to let the... Grit Decay didn't have a good shield target regardless, but Cloud9 now seem to own enough for the map. They've got a Herald Summon in mid. They walk right into the river. Arya tries to find some poke. Not going to find a ton. Perks, is he going to jump the wall? No. Going to play it a bit more safely. They see Alistair in mid. They saw Tristana crossing towards top. They know, all right, nobody's defending this one. Dragon number three is ours. And DFM, if they want to eliminate Cloud9 and guarantee that they advance, they got to find a way to turn this game back around. Evie now stuck under the turret, down to half health, and who's going to tank it first? Vulcan going to do so. Just going to sit there on the corner and let the damage come in for Sven. Shield comes down, drop the aggro. Sven a bit low, but not going to find the ult target. Nice kill picked up, but Perks, be careful. Oh, Steel's going to try for it, but it's way too much. The overextension, and Perks solo kills the help of the turret. is ours. And DF Steel cannot catch a break this game. Rumble looking pretty balanced in this one <laughs> as they go for the tower dive again because he's so far. Two thirds of the kills have been this. All right, name of the game for DFM though is going to have to be find a pocket of fog of war. Oh no, they've been found out. The pockets, ooh, they're going to be unsown. Walk away. Okay, a couple of words going down, but they can walk right back in on Cloud9's side. And Kazu, he's going to drop Blabber. Finds one little bit of damage coming through from Sven ultimately. It is a trade kill, though. Arya found the damage, took out Blabber. That means no jungler on Cloud9. Means that they want to look at Baron. They cannot. Two and a half minutes, though, until Mountain Soul. And for the 4,000 gold, that's going to look good. Perk's going to find Evie on the way over. Careful, though. Rumble is nearby, and Arya could come down as well. So Perk's, did he bite up more than he can chew? Nope, he's going to go right back in, actually, for the Another play. Bite. And snap back. The second bite might be a little oh, too much. Huge, huge play by Evie. Forces Perks back out. That dunk is huge, but is it going to be enough damage, though? Perks gets back over the shield, but he's going to burn down the shutdown. Kill gold goes to steel. And gold lead about 3,000. The mountain soul, obviously a big deal. That last play for the last minute was certainly interesting to watch Ooh. for. C9. Yeah. Baron's still a possible setup. Fudge walking up. Going to front line. We know there's no ult. And Alistair has to flash away. And Fudge is already channeling the queue. Lands the slam. Knocks him up. Thumbs up. One from Teemo. One from the old icon. And now Cloud9 without an enemy support. Going to walk right back into the Baron pit. Hey, if you need me, I can always TP back in the bottom lane. So go push with impunity in the bottom lane. Inhibitor Turk going to be dropping. Another thumbs up for Sven. His mid lane was shepherded in, but not Baron buffed up as Fudge comes back over 4v0. Steel behind him, but down six levels. He's certainly behind him in that case, I guess. Well
Duel's not going to look pretty. Burns the zone. He is trying to jump away, but Evie's here. Has some Krugs for a big stun, and Perks may just die. The dunk right into a Scion, but it's not going to be enough. A shutdown comes through. Well played. One picked up as Fudge had TP'd over. He's left alone. Over. He's left alone. Finally gets some reinforcement. It's going to be enough here. As the stun lands into Evie, he's stunned up again. The flash means nothing, and Alistair just delivers himself on a silver platter. Thank you very much for the beef wagyu, and this is going to be another kill and another the turret going still huge lead and it's gonna get bigger and that was the new X Effect replay, and now it's going to be even more kills. Just Alistair death and Alistair death. He's tasty Japan, known for their beef, and again, Blabber. Going to acquire the taste, and okay, Steel, good luck, buddy. Knocked in the air by Nautilus. Yeah, Arya's around, but, well, we're just going to go for Eve there. Zonia's pop is going <laughs> to buy two and a half seconds, and Fudge, he's going to recall in front of Triss. That's how fed the tank is. He can ignore the marksman. Yone reaches the back line. It just keeps going. Cloud9 going to find their third win, going to find their revenge kill on DFM, but they cannot yet breathe a full sigh of relief. It is still possible for a tiebreaker. <laughs> DFM are not yet eliminated. I like the white flag from Vulcan, true to his French heritage. Good job. And now we go into the last few Nexus turrets. Cloud9 get the win they needed to. It still started with Blaver dying in the river off of some overaggression, but it is still Cloud9 coming away with the win. They are 2-0 on the day, and if they beat their final opponent, they will advance. Fudge B.